Hello everyone, today I want to share my Shilon and builds and teams with you in the short guide. As always, I start with the builds, then go by teams and at the end show some of this gameplay. The build can look quite different depending on how you want to use this character. First of all, just as a main DPS, she uses the standard crit crit damage, defense in her case, and geo damage bonus, that's about it. Otherwise, the more common use of her will probably be as a healer slash utility character with just a decently high energy recharge. I'd say 160 to 180% is good, I'm definitely a little bit on the lower side, but it's kind of preference. If you feel like you don't need as much healing, you can definitely also dip below that. And then defense, everything else, just to scale her healing and especially if you have her personal weapon you want to hit 3250 defense just to maximize the effects on it Talents, again, it kind of depends on what you want her to do. As a utility character, the most important thing is definitely getting the elemental resistance decrease from the elemental skill. I would even suggest to crown this just to max this effect. And then for the burst skill, it's just extra healing, just level this up as well. And if you intend to play her as a DPS, of course, you also need to level up the normal attacks. Otherwise, if you just stick with her as a utility character, you can definitely skip leveling these. As for constellations, it starts a little bit slow. The first one isn't too impressive with extra interruption resistance for your unfit characters and extra Night Soul Blessing state duration for Shilonen. But then it gets crazy really fast with a C2 with a lot of extra stats. You see all of them right here. I'm not gonna name all of them to the sampled elements. And then C4 is kind of like a mixture of like Yunjin's burst and Shenhe's elemental skill maybe. It's just a tally that is counted for normal attacks or any version of normal attacks so that the unfit character is used to deal extra damage based off Shilonen's defense after Shilonen used uses her elemental skill. And she has very high base or like defense in general, so it should do a lot of extra damage. And then C6 is just basically activating both sides of the elemental skill simultaneously, so she can be played as an on-field like main DPS while also shredding resistances and she will also do extra damage. As for weapons, of course her own weapon is ridiculous, I just got it yesterday, it's probably one of the best weapons in the game in my opinion. And then otherwise, if you just look for free to play options, the Cinnabar Spindle, I played it a lot, it's definitely decent, otherwise if you want more energy recharge, of course a Thavonia Sword, and if you just want a general purpose all around weapon, then of course the new craftable sword recipe from the Netland region will do just fine with the extra defense buff and the high defense subset. As for artifacts, we already covered subsets earlier. As for main sets, honestly, if you play as a utility character, the stats on these artifacts don't really matter that much. It's mainly just about the set. You definitely want to have the extra utility from this. Otherwise, is for main stats, just defense, defense, and even more defense. I just took a healing bonus here because I didn't farm this domain enough to even have a defense percentage uh, one yet, but that's fine for now. And then, of course, if you're lacking a lot of energy recharge, you could consider energy recharge in the slot as well. And then, if you play as a main DPS, of course, you can go for just a defense, a geo damage bonus, and crit or crit damage on the Obsidian Codex set for the extra damage with their normal attacks. As for team compositions, I try to be brief because of course this character can be played in very many different team compositions and of course even different roles. First of all, if we talk about main DPS Shilon and it means she has a maximum of one source sample in her team, like in this case for example Hydro, and this likely means that you have at least a three other geo character, uh, three geo characters in total in your team. In this case, Yunjin or Zhongli. Otherwise, you can go with the defense scalers like Albedo, Shiori, of course Goro or Kichina, and fill out your team like this. And then, of course, Shilonin will just be there as a main DPS spamming normal attacks. And if you have at least two sampled elements on your team, the elements being sampled are of course Hydro, Electro, Pyro or Cryo. If you have at least two different elements of these in your team, then Shilonen of course switches gears and turns into a utility character slash healer that also shreds resistance to all the sampled elements. 
In this case, obviously it's like a Electrocharge team with a lot of normal attack damage from Chloron, so a character like Yunjin still makes a lot of um, sense with her buffs, and you still have Geo Resonance for some extra damage as well. Of course, we can switch gears, and um, again, I'm not gonna do this all day long, I just give you some suggestions. Again, any Pyro, Hydro, Electro, or Cryo combo kind of works here, so let's go with the Vaporize team for now. Of course, Yunjin doesn't do anything because we do charge attack damage with Hu Tao, so we go for something like, for example, Kazuo for extra damage bonus, or Sucrose for extra limited mastery for extra Vaporize damage. Of course, these two characters are HP scaling, so you could even go for something like Furina, for Hydro Resonance, you can obviously double up on a source sampled element because you just need two to activate Shilonen, but you can obviously also just go for three of them and play some wacky like um, team like this, which is technically like an over vape team, I guess, and it will also work. Again, just mix and match these source samples as you want, plus one utility character or just a thir third sample altogether. And one more thing about Shilonen, of course, when she finishes her elemental skill combo, she triggers a Night Soul Burst, which is obviously very nice for netland characters like Mualani, because all of them have one thing in common, they get benefits from Night Soul Burst. Of course, right now we don't have too many, and Shilonen has, doesn't have a lot of synergy with Kanich, but as more of them get released, more of the netland characters, of course, this part of Shilonen's skill kit will also rise in value. And one more thing, um, it's Dendro characters in general. Of course, we can not really play spread damage or something like that. Shilona doesn't really do much for that. But if you still want to activate two source samples, you can do it in a Hyper Bloom team like this, for example. And Hyper Bloom is technically Electro damage, so the Electro resistance shred does help out. So you could play a team like this, even though it's not the first one that probably comes to mind when you think of Shilonen teams. And now for gameplay, Shilonen is obviously a very simple character. If you want to use her as a main DPS and a Geo-centric team, then of course you just press both of her skills and then spam normal attacks, that's about it. Otherwise, if you play her as a utility character, you obviously want to apply a certain element first to activate her artifact set that you can then crystallize and then otherwise you just uh, press her bear skill again to activate the healing and then spam uh, three normal attacks to maximize her nice little points with her elemental skill and this activates, activates her source samples that's it so just to show this in action I apply Cryo first to get the extra Cryo damage bonus from Shilonen's artifact set when I trigger crystallize I just do it with Shenhe actually so Cryo, then I just press the Elemental Burst skill to crystallize, and then I do three normal attacks after pressing her Elemental skill. It activates the source samples, press Zhangling stuff, and then go into Ayaka and do her thing. And for now I'm gonna leave you with uh, some Abyss gameplay and come back at the end. But really quick though, of course Shilona is like a utility slash healer character, so she doesn't have a lot of heal time, she isn't super flashy, but of course behind the scenes so to speak, she does contribute a lot to overall team damage. Hear the echoes of the valley! <laughs> Wind knows me as one with wind and cloud. Here comes the catch. Alright, we made it to the end. I hope this was somewhat helpful and gave you some inspiration for your own builds. If so, then stay tuned for more videos. Until then, have fun and bye bye.